Good day everyone! Let's talk about the respiratory and circulatory systems. In this module, the learning competency is the learner should be able to explain how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. Objectives, identify the key parts of the breathing system and describe the function of each of the breathing system. Explain how lungs work, identify the components of the circulatory system, and explain the different types of circulation. Let's talk first about the respiratory system. Respiration includes breathing and the taking in of air and elimination of carbon dioxide in our lungs is called breathing. Breathing involves inhalation and exhalation where the chest, lungs, and diaphragm are involved. When you breathe in or inhale, your chest expands. Diaphragm contracts and moves downward, and lungs expand or inflate. When you breathe out or exhale, your chest contracts, diaphragm relaxes, and moves upward, and lungs deflate. Let us now trace the passageway of gases when you breathe in or breathe out. Oxygen and carbon dioxide are two forms of gases present in our body. When you breathe in air, oxygen enters the body through the nostrils, the entrance to the nas nasal passage. The nasal is lined with coarse hair or cilia that filters the air and traps microorganisms and dust particles. These dust particles are the nose dirt in Tagalog, kulangot, that we remove using a tissue or hanky. Others use their finger to remove it, but just be sure to wash your hands with soap and water after cleaning your nostrils. Likewise, your nasal has a mucous membrane that is supplied with blood capillaries capable of warming and moistening the air that is breathed in, preventing damage of delicate lung tissues. From the nasal cavity, Oxygen moved down to the pharynx. Pharynx serves as a passageway of air from the mouth to the trachea. From the pharynx, oxygen moved down to the larynx or voice box. The larynx is about 11 centimeters long, functions in respiration or birthing, phonation or voice production, and deglutition or swallowing. Here is the anatomy of larynx, showing the anterior view, posterior view, and the sagittal view. From the larynx, oxygen moved down to the lower respiratory tract, passing through the trachea or windpipe, a passage that connects the throat and the lungs. This image shows the anatomy of trachea. It is 4 inches long and less than 1 inch in diameter for most people. It consists of around 20 C-shaped rings of tracheal cartilages. The tracheal half C-shaped hyaline cartilages provide structural support preventing the trachea from collapsing. From the trachea, air moved down to the lungs. You have two lungs, the right and the left. Your right lung is bigger than your left lung because it consists of three lobes, namely superior lobe, middle lobe, and inferior lobe. While your left lung consists of only two lobes, namely superior lobe and inferior lobe. The remaining space is for your heart. And take note, the pleura is the thin sacs that surround each lung and lines the inside of your chest cavity. As air enters the lungs, it passes through the bronchial tubes or bronchi. These are primary bronchi at the bottom of the trachea in each lung. The singular term of bronchi is bronchus. The bronchi consists of submucosal glands which secrete a mixture of water, ions, and macromolecule onto the 
airway surface. Another one is cilia that helps trap mucus or phlegm and particles out from your lungs. This is the reason why when you cough or sneeze, you expel phlegm or particles out from your lungs. And the third one is the pseudostratified columnar epithelia along with goblets. Goblets are non-ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelia. And they function infiltration before the air gets deeper in the lungs. From the primary bronchi, oxygen moves down to the secondary and tertiary bronchi, then to the bronchioles. The bronchioles are made up of simple ciliated columnar epithelium smooth muscle cells. The terminal bronchioles are made up of simple ciliated cuboidal epithelium smooth muscle cells, while the respiratory bronchioles are made up of simple cuboidal epithelium smooth muscle cells. The terminal bronchial leads to alveolar duct which holds the alveolar sacs. The alveolar sacs have clusters of alveoli. Singular is alveolus, and there are millions of alveoli in your lungs. In addition, the alveolar sacs are made of simple squamous epithelium cells and extracellular matrix, which are surrounded by capillary beds or capillaries. In the alveolus or alveoli, the oxygen diffuses into the bloods in the capillaries and is circulated to the different parts of your body. On the other hand, carbon dioxide from the blood in the capillaries diffuses into the alveolus or alveoli, which is then exhaled. Thus, alveoli or alveolus in the lungs is the terminal or final place of respiration. It is where exchange of gases, oxygen, and carbon dioxide takes place. And there are around three-tenths of a liter of oxygen inhaled per minute at rest. To sum it up, we breathe in oxygen during inhalation. Oxygen enters into the nostrils, passes to the pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchioles, then alveoli. Also, we breathe out carbon dioxide during exhalation. Carbon dioxide passes from the blood to the alveoli, bronchioles, bronchus, trachea, larynx, pharynx, and nostrils. Do not forget to click, share, like, and subscribe. Let's talk now about the circulatory system. Components of the circulatory system are blood, blood vessels, and heart. The blood is a specialized body fluid. Functions, transports oxygen and nutrients to the lungs and tissues, forms blood clots to prevent excess blood loss, carries cells and antibodies, brings waste products to the kidneys and liver, which filter and clean the blood. The blood components, red blood cells or RBC, also known as erythrocytes. It deliver oxygen to the cells and remove carbon dioxide. Another component, white blood cells, also known as leukocytes, includes neutrophil, eosinophil, monocyte, lymphocyte, and basophil, function for immune response. Another component, platelets or thrombocytes. They form fibrin clots, preventing blood loss after injury. Another component, plasma, which is the liquid component that transports blood cells throughout your body that helps maintain the body's fluid balance. The blood vessels. There are three blood vessels, the artery, the veins, and capillaries. Artery carries blood away from the heart. Capillaries connects arteries and veins. Vein carries blood to the heart. The heart is the main organ of the circulatory system that pumps blood. 
has four chambers, namely right atrium, receives blood from the veins and pumps it to the right ventricle. Another chamber is right ventricle, receives blood from the right atrium and pumps it to the lungs where it is loaded with oxygen. Another chamber, left atrium, receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and pumps it to the left ventricle. Another chamber, left ventricle, which pumps oxygen-rich blood. We will have another topic on the circulation of blood in the heart. Types of circulation. Pulmonary circulation is the movement of the blood from the heart to the lungs via pulmonary artery where oxygen diffuses to the blood while carbon dioxide leaves the bloodstream. The oxygenated blood returns to the heart via pulmonary veins. Another type of circulation is the systemic circulation. It is the pathway of the blood from the heart to the capillaries of the different organs of the body and back to the heart. The oxygenated blood from the heart leaves via the largest artery known as the aorta. Upon reaching the capillaries of the different organs of the body, diffusions of nutrients and oxygen takes place and at the same time, waste materials enter into the bloodstream and return to the heart. How do respiratory system and circulatory system work together? They work together to achieve homeostasis by circulating oxygen and eliminating carbon dioxide from the body. Answer now your module 1. You may answer in any sheet of clean paper and submit a screenshot of it to your teacher. For the let's apply part of your module, write the correct spelling of this crumbled term on your answer sheet. 1. Air passage from the mouth to the trachea. 2. It is where the air enters. 3. Passage that connects the throat to the lungs. 4. It is where the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place. 5. Small branches of the bronchial tubes that lead to the alveoli. For the left right part of your module, write only the letter of the correct answer. Number one, when you breathe air, you bring in blank into your lungs and breathe out blank. A. Oxygen, carbon. B. Oxygen, carbon dioxide. C. Hydrogen, carbon dioxide. D. Both oxygen gases. Number two, when you inhale, your chest cavity becomes blank and your diaphragm blank. A. Larger contracts. B. Larger relax. C. Smaller relax. D. Smaller contract. Number 3. How do your lungs work? A. It removes oxygen from the air and passes it into your blood. B. It brings nutrients to the different parts of the body. C. It eliminates waste from our body in a form of urine. D. It supports the digestive system to remove solid wastes. Number 4. What happens to your body if carbon dioxide is not removed? A. Tissues and organs will be damaged. B. Your blood and other body fluids will become acidic. C. There will be slow oxygen delivery to the different parts of the body. D. All the statements are correct. Number 5. How will you protect your respiratory system from infectious disease like the one caused by COVID-19? A. Wash your hands only if it is needed. B. Perform exercise if you need to. C. Eat foods like fruits and vegetables to boost your immune system. D. Communicate with people with respiratory problems like colds or flu. For the Let's Create part of your module, you do this activity entitled My Own Stethoscope. Objectives, to make and use their handman made stethoscope to listen heartbeat, to listen and record heartbeat among family members. Materials, one cardboard roll from tissue paper, plastic bottle, colored paper, and masking tape. 
procedure. What's the video in YouTube about making a stethoscope from Okder Junior Academy entitled Paper Roll Series Number 5 Stethoscope? Then, use the stethoscope to listen the heartbeat of your family members. Count the number of heartbeat per minute for every num member and record it in the table below. Do it twice. Have family members do simple exercise, listen and record the number of heartbeat. Record your, record your observation in the table given. Then answer now these questions. Number one, what have you noticed to the number of heartbeats of your family members in trial one and two? Number two, do you think the number of heartbeats can help doctors determine that you have health problem? Explain. Number three, why do you think you have faster heartbeats when you do an exercise or you do household chores like cleaning the house? Is it good for your body? Why? Thank you for watching. Do not forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And for more information, you may visit these references. Have a good day!